Hey YouTubers, DIY Dan here, and today I'm going to be working on the MR2 again. I decided to replace the rear tie rod assemblies. They're in pretty bad shape. The tie rod here is getting pretty loose. Uh, the bushing in the backs, pretty perished, pretty worn as well. But uh, unfortunately, Toyota no longer makes replacement parts for these. So thankfully, we have a couple of MR2 vendors who have made their own rear tie rod assemblies. And the one that I have here is actually made by Matrix Garage. It's a really nice piece, very well built, super beefy. I mean, a, a lot more beefier than the factory unit, in my opinion. And if you're interested in a set of these, I'll put a link in the description on where you can get them at. So today, I'm going to be installing these on my car. I've already done one side, and I think you'll be surprised how easy these things are to install. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Peaches, you ready to install some uh, Matrix Garage rear tie rod assemblies? Huh? No? Alright, fine. Suit yourself. First thing we got to do is lift the car. I like to lift my MR2 by the inner frame rail here. Now that I have the car lifted, I can use a 21 millimeter socket to remove the lug nuts. Now that I have the tire removed, I can place a jack stand under the car for safety. Right here's the rear tie rod that we want to remove to replace with our new one. We have a nut and a cotter pin on one side, and then we have a bolt on the other side that we have to remove. I'm going to go ahead and get the tools and we'll get this thing loosened up. To remove this bolt, all you need is a 17 millimeter socket. Now that we got one side removed, all we have to do is remove this side. All we have here is a nut and a cotter pin we got to remove. Success, got the cotter pin removed. Next, use a 17 millimeter socket to remove this nut. I'm gonna leave the nut on here, so that way when I whack this tie rod in with a sledgehammer, it won't mushroom the stud. All right, we got the tie rod loose, so just gotta re remove the nut. Now that I have the old tie rod removed, we are now ready to set up the new one. Now it's important that you read the Matrix Garage instructions for these very carefully. And the measurements do vary between the MK1A to the MK1B MR2. And I will provide a link to the, um, to the instructions in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these things set up. Alright guys, I just finished up dialing in the new tie rod assembly. I first started off by using the base measurements that were provided in the instructions and then used my old tie rod assembly as a guide to dial in the new tie rod assembly. The idea here is to get the new tie rod assembly as close to the same length as the old tie rod. This will ensure that the car's alignment is not off when we go to reassemble everything. Once you got your jam nuts all tightened up, the install is the opposite of how we removed it.
And that's how you install a set of Matrix Garage rear tie rods on an AW11 Toyota MR2. If you'd like to see my other MR2 related videos, click the playlist link in the description. So long.